Now because in the early days of caliphate, this judiciary was not present over there as a different and independent institution. Let me tell you first of all, during the days of the Prophet ﷺ, he was the caliph. He was heading all the, not only three institutions, but all the four institutions of the state. He was the head of the state, he was the caliph. If Hazrat Dawood was caliph, was not Muhammad Sallallahu the caliph of Allah? He was the caliph. Because the commands of Allah were coming to him. Then he was the legislator. That is why we call him Shari alayhi salam. He had to interpret. He had to interpret the wahi which is coming to him from Allah. And he had to make new fresh judgments. Then he was the chief justice also. All these matters and disputes had to be settled by him. And he was the commander in chief also. All the four, you know, positions were held by whom? By Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But gradually, you know, these institutions, they got separated from each other. In the days of Hazrat Ali, we know that judiciary became independent. Because Hazrat Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, no, filed a suit in the court of Qadi Shuray. And you know, his, his case was dismissed. Because he could not produce any witnesses. To his claim except the son and the slave and Qadi Shuraya said no although we can't say that you are telling a lie but it's a law all Muslims are equal in the eyes of law here you are not as the caliph of the state here you are appearing as the Muslim a citizen judiciary is higher up and here you know whosoever is judging is a now because the witness the testimony of a son or a slave who is owned by the person, it is not acceptable. If you have another, another witnesses, produce them. And Hazrat Ali said, no, I don't have any other witnesses. Okay, your case dismissed. And it was against a Jew. And the Jew accepted Islam saying this, you know, that this is the condition of the state. The head of the state, his claim can be dismissed in the state. So he became a Muslim. But you know, these institutions now today, by the process of social evolution, and let us do justice to others also. We owe this to the Western nations. They have developed these institutions of the state. We Muslims gave them the light from the universities of Cordova and Granada and Toledo. We passed the torch of knowledge and light to them. And then we went to sleep. These people worked. The scientific development took place there. This electricity was not invented by any Muslim. But we are using it. This loudspeaker, these cameras, not invented by any Muslim. We are using them. In the same way, these institutions, they have developed. In principle, essentially all these things were given by the Muslims. These all things were given by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to humanity at large. As Allama Iqbal says, Har kuja bini jahane rangobu, aake az khakash beroye darzu, ya ze nure mustafa hura bahast, ya hunuz andar talashe mustafaast. Wherever you find something good, something noble, from which, you know, the seed of desire, you know, it, it, it grows up. You will see, Either this light has been borrowed from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or man is still proceeding and trying to reach where Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had taken the humanity 1400 years ago. Har bahas ya So this judiciary now, now you know there is the Congress, legislation vested with them. Here's the executive. The president is the executive head. The executive machinery is under him. And here's the judiciary. And here's the constitution. If the executive head or the executive machinery is doing something wrong, you go and knock the door of the judiciary, the superior courts. So this is the system that has evolved in the West. And let me say here, at the highest level of evolution today stands the American constitutional system. The British parliamentary system lags much behind. 
There's duplicity. Head of the state is someone else. Head of the government is someone else. How can the powers be balanced between the two? Head of the state there, the king or the queen is just nominal. Symbolic. Nothing to do with the affairs of the state. All the authority is in the hands of the prime minister. But if we imitate their, and we are imitating their example, what happens? In Pakistan, either the head of the state is rendered to, this, to the position of Chaudhary Fazle Ilahi. And then people have to demand he must be released from the presidential palace. So he is in prison over there. Or, you know, the president becomes the Aul Haq. Or, uh, who was this fellow? Ishaq Khan. He can dismiss the prime minister, elected prime minister, and just send him home. There can be no balance. And this is shirk. The authority at the head, at the top, should be held by one person. The same person, head of the state, and head of the government. This is Tawheed. And actually, they have gone there. Only if they had, I have been saying it in my long lectures regarding the political system of Islam, if to this constitution of United States you add only three things, it becomes caliphate, Islamic caliphate. You add the objective resolution as we have in Pakistan, but there it is only theoretical, not practical. The sovereignty belongs to Allah. This should be the clause one. Clause two, no legislation can be done here at any level, repugnant to the Quran and the Sunnah. Atiullah, Atiul Rasul. Absolute obedience to the two. And number three, full citizenship of the state is held only by the Muslims. The non Muslims, they are protected minority. Their lives, their honor, their belongings, they will be protected. They will have free hand in their personal law, in marriages, etc., etc., inheritance. They will be free to practice any religion they would like. But they will not be associated in the process of legislation, number one, and at the highest level of policy decisions. These, they are barred from that. If you add these three things, it becomes the most advanced khilafah on earth. But each one pill of this, you know, is very bitter to swallow. We have not been able to swallow it up till now in Pakistan. So what to speak of United States of America? But we have to work towards that end.